Hey, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna go over this rig. Stay tuned. All right, before we get into this one, please subscribe to my channel. We're almost at that thousand. Every video, we got a little closer. So thanks. So here's my barrel evaporator for maple syrup. There's the pan. Other videos showed the build and all other things, but I've done some improvements and I wanna show you because a lot of people ask. So what I did, is I added a better grate, a fabricated grate. So you can kind of see it's just angle iron stood upright. And I got some like half inch by one inch cold rolled steel underneath it. You can kind of see it right there. That creates the frame and so at a little bit of an angle, the same angle as the bricks. So that metal's like this. So it lays in there real nice against those bricks creates a nice little ledge for the bricks to kind of rest on or actually for the grate to rest on the bricks and then you see I got rear exit but what I did was I added some air let me show you so I come from the back side okay the exhaust side and I just added some one inch pipe and I I could probably go shorter with it but I didn't want this heat radiant heat coming off of there and messing with my fan so I made it a little bit extra long and here's your standard I believe that's two inch your two inch bung so I just got a two inch close nipple there with a cap and then I drilled a hole in the cap for clearance for this one inch pipe to go through and then inside of that I have basically female threads for this pipe to screw into and I press fit it into the nipple so you can't really see what I did there but the reason why I wanted independence to be able to spin things around this pipe uh, actually how did I do that oh I know what it is this pipe has the one inch pipe that's inside of the barrel inside of here so I had to attach the two somehow and I had to have female threads pointing this way so I have a coupling, I turn down the OD, make it smooth, and it's inside of here, and I, there, it's sloppy, so I made a little sleeve to kind of take up the gap. So I got basically a one inch coupling inside of here, so I have thread sticking this way. So this pipe threads into the coupling, the coupling's press fit into the sleeve, and the sleeve's press fit into, into this nipple. So now I got threads here for this to screw into and I got threads inside of here for this pipe that goes through to screw into this way so basically just picture a one inch coupling inside of here and I had to do that because this is two inch it just for me it was easier I'm a machinist so I can make that stuff pretty easy so then that continues on there's a pipe right there you can see it a one inch pipe it continues on through and I have it capped off right there underneath yeah, you can see it right there to the cap and I just drilled like eighth inch holes see my holes every so often and that's kind of how it feeds through here I didn't want all that contraption in the front I didn't want a fan in the front so here's an inside look at the pipe that's where it stops that's underneath the grate and it goes the whole way. Now here's a fan I ran last year. It's not bad, 22 CFM, adjustable. And I had a different deal on the end of this pipe here, but it basically fit inside. I just kind of pushed it in there. But I'm upgrading this year. I'm going from this little guy to this guy. So there's a difference. At 70 CFM, it's 22. And I already made my adapter. I just pipe tapped it on that side. Made my little fit here for this guy to go on. Just basically all, I can't do it one-handed, but it's gonna push on there and then clamp. 
All right, so there's the fan. And I got it on Amazon. There's all my specs right there. I paid like 40 bucks. And that should do the trick. Well, there it is. They're all wrapped up nice. Got this rig running. Let's see the fire. Oh yeah. That is working. Okay, last year I was running around 8.25. Hottest point. Oh man, almost got a thousand. Ooh, there we go. Thousand degrees. I gained 200 degrees of exhaust snack temperature. Man, it's still 750 up here. Top. Almost 600 degrees at the very top. So I had a thousand right there somewhere. Oh, hot rod. Mm, hot rod. So, yeah, there you go. That's how I do it. And look at that. She's rolling good. So anyways, hey, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for coming to my channel. Uh, please subscribe. Get me to that 1,000. And uh, I'll see you next time.